Hi, and welcome to RTP Business Live. I'm Bob Collier, and our guest today is Michelle Harper. Michelle is the CEO of Akili Software. Welcome, Michelle. We're glad to have you today. Thank you. Glad to be here. Maybe let's kick this off, and if you can tell us a little bit about your background and how Akili Software came to be. Sure. Uh, my background, actually, by training, I'm a historian, and I landed actually in a healthcare field uh, in my graduate program while I was at ETSU. And I really started falling in love with the whole idea of the healthcare field. Um, I knew I wasn't designed to be a nurse or a doctor or anything to do with blood, um, but I did realize that there was a whole nother field of uh, career options in healthcare. And from a sleep diagnostics clinic in Tennessee uh, to pharmaceutical cells and then landing in um, a software company that created uh, EHR or electronic medical records for providers, I finally found my niche. <laughs> and um, my most recent uh, company I worked for was in post-acute care. So for that, that would be anybody who provides care in somebody's home versus like an assisted living facility, a nursing home, or a hospital. And I really fell in love with this industry and the people that were associated with this industry. Mm -hmm. It is just amazing, the caregivers that are out there. For every uh, one bad horror story you may hear about care, there are tens of thousands of really heartwarming stories about how companies and organizations have really provided care to some of our most frail uh, citizens of society with elder care. Well, I, I, that's such a growing market. Speaking as a baby boomer myself who's looking toward that day when I might need some help, I also have parents who are mm -hmm. fortunately uh, very healthy uh, right now, but I, I can see that day when it, that's coming. Um, certainly there, there's a, a lot of growth in the area of um, facilities, but uh, what about staying in the home? You know, that seems like such a goal for, for everybody to want to stay in the home. Is that kind of where, where this is targeted? Exactly, and so one of the growing trends right there, I'm sorry, right now, is really the whole idea of aging in place. And how can we, with our moms and dads and those in our loved ones' lives, can we affordably help them stay in place longer. And so this is one of the many areas that allow uh, seniors and, and the elders in our community to actually age in place. Absolutely. Well, let's get specific now. Akili okay. Software. <laughs> How did that come to be, Akili Software? Mm -hmm. And um, what, what's the focus for it? Sure. Um, Akili Software was really kind of a brainchild of me and my partner. Um, we both have personal experience in home care. Um, I was a recipient of home care about 10 years ago during a battle with cervical cancer. Um, my dad was a recipient of home care during his uh, battle with um, colon cancer with hospice. Um, and she also had experience with her mother-in-law. So we really fell in love with this field and we're both really great at technology. We're both really great at problem solving. And we came together and felt we can really make a difference in the lives of these companies and organizations that are providing care uh, to the senior citizens of our country. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, you, you have personal experience and a passion for uh, this area, uh, but there's probably so many uh, folks who have had that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just more and more so where where someone in the family has had an experience, hopefully a good one, but home health care is obviously uh, more and more a factor in people's lives. Well, actually, if you look at some of the statistics, at any given time in the U.S., almost 21 million adults are receiving some type of home care. That's a staggering That is number. a staggering number, whether it's home, ca home care non-medical or home health where a nurse would come in or whether it's a hospice at, for managing the end of life. Okay. Um, so I understand the company name is Akili Software. Yes. Now the software <laughs> you get <laughs> is a slightly different name, correct? Yes. Okay. And so with Akili, we were looking for a word. We really want to be able to enable, enable these companies 
to provide care with more knowledge and really smarter, a smarter way of delivering care. And we were looking, we used Google Translate, and we found a Swahili word, which is Akili, and that word means smart or knowledge in Swahili. And so that's what we want to do. We want to create smarter software uh, to really empower these um, agencies and organizations. Perfect. As uh, who, who would be an agency or organization that would be saying, or not, maybe they don't even know they have the need, but they have the need for this software. Who are those types of organizations? Most of them know they have the need. They're just managing it to the best of their ability right now. And so we really, our target market are um, volunteer organizations and for and non-for-profit companies who provide non-medical care in the home. So this would be something like uh, meal prep, maybe showers and hair care, maybe errands, maybe they just sit and read uh, with that client. Um, so it would be really the non-medical area of home care services. Okay. Um, and you say they're managing it in other, in, in other ways. How is that being done? So currently? what would shock a lot of people, so there is software um, out there that some of the agencies are using. But where we have identified a significant challenge for a lot of the, the companies and the agencies is this whole idea of care coordination. And to give you an example, one of the companies we're working with in Florida has 450 caregivers and they have 320 clients. And this is really a smaller size agency. Um, what we have found as we've really started interviewing the clients is managing those schedules really is a burden. Um, we have interviewed quite a few different agencies and we have found that even though they have software in their agency, they're still using pencil and paper. Pencil and paper. Pencil and paper to manage all of the schedules for their caregivers and clients. And That's got to be a nightmare. It is a nightmare. In fact, when I was interviewing one company that was actually, I think she's located here in Cary, um, she had grown her agency to about 100 clients, and she said, I, I'm not going to grow it anymore because 100 clients is all I can manage with my pencil, paper, and Excel sheets. And so you have these agencies who, while there are solutions or software out there, it's really not providing the tools that they need to effectively manage uh, those schedules. Well, let's drill down on that a little bit. Um, what's unique about the Keeley software and, and how do you make that happen? How do you solve that problem they have? We're approaching it in a couple of different ways. First of all, we are actually building on, it's kind of the end user up for us. So we've taken a little bit of a different approach, whereas you would normally have somebody sitting in a software company that says, oh, I think they need this. Um, what we have done is we've actually gone out and we are sitting with our end users and we are watching them and identifying what it is they really need. So it's really end user driven design. And as such, we have really created a neat scheduling program that filters out caregivers by um, location and skill sets um, and how they can match with those clients. But one of the most powerful features of our software is the whole idea of what happens when a caregiver no-shows or calls in sick. Ooh, the nightmare scenario. It is the nightmare scenario. And this actually happened to our company partner with her mother-in-law and it was two and a half hours before the agency even knew oh that goodness. a caregiver had not shown up. And again, that's the worst case scenario. Usually that's not the case. But how do they solve this now? And when I started asking agencies the way they solve this is literally by picking up the phone and if they have to go through all 450 caregivers to find somebody, that's what they do. And so we have created what is called a Care Connect app. So it works on any smartphone, Android or iPhone. And when a caregiver goes in, they have to check in that they're in the agency. It, oh, I'm sorry, so in the client's home. So you're not relying upon the unhappy client to contacting to inform. Exactly. You're being proactive and using the caregiver. So say your mother has a caregiver coming in, and she's supposed to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning to help her get out of bed. If that caregiver has not checked in by 8.15, the agency and the family members are notified that this caregiver has not checked in. So that's good for the agency because their ultimate goal, obviously, is to provide excellent care for these clients and they can quickly get somebody else back in 
uh, to take care of that agency. And then also, I think, provides a little bit of peace of mind for the family members, too. What a, what a different experience for the, the, uh, the client mm -hmm. because you're being proactive or, or your client is being proactive. They're, they're not, I know a lot of folks, you know, as, as they age, they, they don't feel as in control of the situation. And uh, this sounds like this puts that control, they know things are going to happen. Exactly. That, that, uh, that the care is going to get there. Absolutely. And so it really supports, when you talk about these owners of these agencies, they truly have a degree of caring that is above and beyond. And it really helps to support them in their delivery of exceptional care for these clients. It gives them the tools that maybe you and I in other technology fields already take for granted. We're starting to give them these tools as well. That's wonderful because you don't, they don't want to have to be technology experts to complete their mission and, Absolutely. and make their clients happy. Right. So you're providing that tool. Um, well, we talked about a little bit of the what, where, why. Let's talk a little bit about when. Uh, when will the Keeley software be available to users and how can they get it? Well, our entry version, which is really kind of the referral manager piece of our program, is actually went into live beta last week. And so that's available on, if you go to KeeleySoft, K-I-L-I soft.com, they can sign up. K-I-L-I soft.com. Exactly. The full product we are estimating to be available towards the end of the fourth quarter that it will go live into release. That is very soon. It is very soon and very exciting and makes for very busy times at Achilles Software. <laughs> <laughs> Getting any sleep these days? Uh, very little. <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling and, you know, Absolutely. so it's Absolutely. exciting to be a part of it. Well, I hope, uh, hope you get that great feedback uh, during the beta program. Uh, that's a wonderful time to... To really tweak the product sounds like you've certainly identified a critical need yeah. and now just making sure that, that you fill that need and um, and, and we're fit really fortunate we have uh, two partner agencies that are actually going to pilot our software one is Douglas Gardens which is part of the Miami Jewish Health Systems down in Florida and then we have another really strong partner out of coastal, hair, uh, ho coastal home care out of Bellhaven in North Carolina. And they really have come alongside to make sure that we adhere to our concept of user-driven design. And so I just wanted to plug them because they have really just really fed into what has turned out to be a great product for these agencies. That's critical. I think you touched on it earlier. There's too much software that gets developed in the ivory tower that uh, has plenty of features, but maybe not a lot of benefit. And it sounds like you guys are focused on the right thing, the benefit to the end user. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to talk with you today. Is there anything, Michelle, that we haven't touched on that you might want to make folks aware of? Or have we pretty well cut, run the gamut? We've pretty much run the gamut. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being here today. We do want to thank Michelle Harper. Her company's name is Akili Software. The information about her company will be at the end of this video and on her web page. We hope you find out more because obviously uh, it's a great product coming at a critical time and solving a, a need that more and more of us are becoming aware of. So hope, check it out. We hope you do. I'm Bob Collier with RTP Business Live. We certainly appreciate you joining us. Check us out again real soon. Thank you.